You remember that anti-vax, anti-mandate rally where uh, RFK Jr. was comparing like the experience of Jewish individuals during the Holocaust to those who are asked to get tested? Well, actress Evangeline Lilly was there, well known recently for her work in Marvel and other roles like Lost. She is Wasp, she was Toriel in the Hobbit movies, a fantastic actress who went to that rally to support bodily sovereignty. Now, is this really news? I don't know. Is it important? Probably not. But it's a big disappointment when someone who you're a big fan of believes crazy things. And unfortunately, in this case, they come in a variety of forms. She posted on Instagram about this saying, I believe nobody should ever be forced to inject their body with anything against their will under threat of violent attack, arrest or detention without trial. Look, it goes on from there. Who is being threatened with violent attack or detention without trial if they don't get vaxxed or tested? And then she says, this is not the way. Don't invoke the Mandalorian like that against us. I don't like that. And finally, she says, I was pro-choice before COVID and I am still pro-choice today. Look, people can use whatever term they want, especially in this, in this area. She's a woman, if she wants to use that terminology, she, she can. But it also has a meaning and this isn't quite what that meaning is. Right. Brett, am I the bad guy for even bringing this story up? <laughs> no, because of this. Margot Robbie, Lizzie Kaplan, Dua Lipa, Elizabeth Banks, and Evangeline Lilly. That's my what? laminated list. I thought they were That's all at my the hall thing pass. or something. That's my hall pass list. So Evangeline, who's been on there the longest, let's be honest, Lizzie Kaplan, bye. And now Kelly Asbill, welcome to the list. I'm watching Yellowstone. I don't know who that is. Brett. Kelsey Asbill, I'm as you're welcome. I'm sorry that you're on this list. It's never gonna happen, but I just we ask each other periodically what the list is. It has been updated. So I'm sorry. I, I, I'm glad she's wrong this way. You know what I mean? There's people who are wrong in all kinds of ways. The anti-vax people who are wrong in ways that are like, you're gonna get microchip and tardigrade quantum entanglement. Yeah. That's the wrong way to be wrong. This is the right way to be wrong. Cuz I think someone's trying to be earnest and approach it from yes. a like, I don't want people injecting me with stuff. It's like, well, first, no one's sneaking up on you. I'm glad, you, I'm glad that's what you think that way. No one's sneaking yes. up on you and injecting you with this stuff. They're not actually mandates that you do this kind of thing. Um, there's all kinds of things I think, Evangeline, I'd get you to agree with me on in terms of um, regulations and jobs without which you can't have that job. Yeah. But this doesn't even qualify for that because frequently it's like, or you get tested to make sure yeah. you don't have COVID because we can't yeah, have people getting COVID. That's not the case. Like these yeah, are exactly. all, I'm glad you're wrong that way. And I'm I'm not. This isn't a real list, but I'm happy Stop. Kelsey's on it. Anyway, uh, with that said, I will close by saying yes. And look, I I don't. I'm not trying to end her career. Like I don't. Like people are saying, like they should recast Wasp. No, as long as she like abides by the onset restrictions. No, I don't. I'm not actually. We don't actually do a cancel culture generally. That's not the case. It's just disappointing. I want the people that I look up to that I think are awesome. She was great in The Hobbit. She's great as Wasp to be reasonable. And I feel like. She has fallen into a lot of misinformation about vaccines that, by the way, predates the pandemic and isn't exclusive to the right. And by the way, we don't know if, even if she's vaccinated. She had images on Instagram of people's signs that say like vaxxed Democrat for medical freedom. She might very well be vaccinated. She might be willing to comply with some things, but she's had a few things that she's said during the pandemic earlier. It's just a little bit disappointing. That's the whole point. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.